HALO stands for High Activity Location Observation. Currently in the HALO system, there are approximately 250 cameras that are recorded on a daily basis. In addition to those cameras, through our partnerships, we have access to hundreds of additional cameras. Most of the cameras are what we call PTZ or pan, tilt, zoom. And that means that the people monitoring the cameras have the ability to move those cameras 360 degrees. They can zoom in and out on whatever's happening in the area of the camera. We have highly trained civilian personnel. Not only are they monitoring radio traffic, they have the ability to communicate directly with the officers on the street, and they're also proactively monitoring, looking for criminal activity. For example, there was a monitor that observed animal abuse, and they were able to call that out, and the suspect was apprehended at a short distance from where the observation was made. Uh, we've had monitors observe uh, robbery suspects coming out of banks. They're able to track those suspects and call that information out so that officers can move in. Camera operators are not to look inside of private businesses and homes. But if there's an expectation of privacy, then the monitors are forbidden from monitoring those areas unless there is a crime investigation in progress. The video is audited on a random basis to ensure the rights of the citizens are not infringed. The video is only available to the law enforcement community and for criminal investigations. Halo video is stored on special storage servers and automatically deleted after 30 days, so we don't keep video indefinitely. There's a list of cameras on our website. There are Halo cameras in all areas of the city, however, approximately 80 to 85 percent of the cameras are in the downtown area at this time. Public safety and security is the primary objective of the HALO program, and we are very, very concerned about protecting the rights of the citizens as well as having an impact on criminal activity within the community.